hello everyone welcome for the class today we'll be studying about a cloud computing that is the fourth module as we all know it is a competitive environment where organizations are under the lot of pressure so that they want to achieve the maximum efficiency and and also at that same time they want to invest a less in the infrastructure this is all the needs of the business because they want to have a higher availability of the data they want to reduce the expenditures and also they want to market within less amount of the time now when these all the requirements are being there we need infrastructure we need the services to be provided to the customers but still this all has to be done with the minimal budget now how can we reduce uh, this budget because a budget plays a very important role in any organization because to each and every time to provide the service to the customers we need the infrastructure we need the computers we need the um, softwares and all but uh, as for each and every customer to provide the separate services it is going to be more for example if i have to say you in case there are about th uh, thousand employees now for all these uh, thousand employees we can't give a separate computer in case even if provided then what about uh, the software they we have to buy it so we need to buy a licensed software which is again per software is, um, licensed version is going to cost more then obviously the whole services to be provided will be more the expenditure is more then each and every organization have to face a lot of increase in the budget each and every time now if in case there is a change in the technology again the organizations have to adapt to that new technology now again bringing up the new technology is again a big headache for the organizations now all these challenges can be served with a very minimal cost and at that same time make sure that the availability of the data is been there less expenditure can be done and at that same time the it resources can be improved with the minimal it resources so the term called as cloud computing is been coined uh, which is a model for enabling ubiquitous convenient on demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction so this is a standard definition given by the us national institute of standards and the technology where they are sharing the resources uh, it can be in terms of the networks it can be in terms of the servers or the storage or any applications which is reducing the resources that are been required for it and at that same time the services can be provided uh, before the cloud uh, was been uh, getting into existence what were the technologies that made this cloud to come into the existence the first one is a grid computing as everyone everyone knows that grid computing is where we have the distributed computing uh, having the numerous heterogeneous uh, computers and you are processing parallelly in the utility computing you are just uh, providing the service where uh, uh, based on the services that is available for the customers you are going to just charge them so based on the utility that means how much you are going to use it based on that you are charging them so this is going this is uh, the example the best example is for you is the electricity how much ever you are using the electricity uh, the number of units consumed only for that you are paying the charges right the next one is virtualization as you all know it's a technique that abstracts the physical characteristic of it resources from the resource users itself so it is providing the pool uh, for the resources where you can view you can manage you can create a virtual resources so that it is going to reduce the it budgets and the last one is service oriented architecture in this one it is used to communicate with each other these services are going to work together to perform or to pass the data among the services so these all the technologies are been uh, 
were existing and because of this the cloud came into the existence now let's see that what are the characteristics of the cloud the first one he tells it is on demand self service so that means whenever you are demanding any service or you are demanding for the request at that time it is been provided for you so in this one they are going to say that uh, what will be the charges for each and every service you are requesting uh, same like the menu card when you go it is been written whatever dish you order in front of that the price is been there the same way here as and when you are going to demand the resources it can be your uh, storage it can be the server or it can be the applications any applications you are requesting so according to that the uh, prices are been given for you and you can utilize for that particular period of the time so it there is no need for you to install any particular applications or to buy any software the second one is uh, the broad network access here the broad access broad network access is you are going to access uh, the the any sort of the softwares irrespective of any platform it can be from your mobile phones or your tablets or your laptops or the workstations the third one is measured service in this one it is uh, providing you the control and you can even optimize the resources based on the amount you are trying to use it uh, so here it is going to provide the services to to the customers and the service provider is been there he is going to monitor the resources he is going to control if any sort of the errors are been there it can be reported and at that same time the transparency can be provided um, can be maintained both at the provider and also at the consumer so the next one is uh, resource pooling in the resource pooling is uh, you have lots of resources which can be shared instead of buying it separately you are going to uh, have a group of the resources you are going to share it for this simple example i have to say is uh, a family is been there which is having seven members now all the seven members can't buy a car because it is going to increase the cost of the living right instead of that if they buy one car or two cars which can be shared based on their needs so the same way resource pooling is also done in that way where they are going to serve the consumers uh, based on the multi tenant model where they are applying and you won't be knowing where that exact location of the uh, resource is being provided and the next one is a rapid elasticity in the rapid elasticity you are looking at how best you can provide the uh, capabilities to the customers based on their need so either you can grow the network or you can shrink the network based on the resources for example is that uh, many government agencies they go for the online exams uh, so in this one they need more number of the servers at that time there is no need for them to buy but instead they can go and approach to the clouds where they will be requesting for the servers for that only particular day they will be charged and again the servers can given back to the cloud uh, if in case they want to buy and after that time even those those servers may be used or may not be used so unnecessary there is the wastage of the resources so the cloud is going to help to cut down the wastage of the resources which may be used in future or may not be used in future right so these are the characteristics if in short i have to explain to you people is having the resources to utilize them very efficiently so the cloud is helping us based on the resources available i request to the cloud and i use that one there is no need for me to particularly install or buy any kind of the softwares licensed versions of the software for me so it may i may use those softwares or may i may not use those softwares which may go to the scrap so that can be avoided with the help of the cloud the next one is what are the benefits of cloud computing so as you know the first one is it is going to have the reduced it cost uh, there is a business agility flexible scaling and high availability uh, 
now as we are looking into the reduced it cost yes because the the network resources are been reduced uh, in terms of uh, it can be in terms of the pricing it can be reduced in terms of the softwares it can be reduced so this is overall it is going to eliminate uh, the expenditure the capital expenditure that is spent in the it and next one is business agility where you can allocate and you can scale the computing capacity as and when it is been required uh, you may if you in case you want to install any new applications you can install it you can give the service for particular months or particular days and again if you are not using it you can uninstall it now for example if i have to say the very the live example is you go to the play store whichever application you want you are going to install it uh, there is no need for you to download any particular uh, software based according to that irrespective of the platform you are installing your applications you are uninstalling your applications right so this is how the business agility is been moving and you can share it and as previously uh, if in case the software is a pirated version it used to expire again you need to buy the licensed version so that is all not been needed now okay so this is the benefit of the cloud the next one is a flexible scaling uh, scaling is like you can increase the number of resources or you can decrease the number of resources for example now in this pandemic as you can see that all the organizations have been closed and the people are working from home right now there are so many resources available which are uh, just not being used so they are not using their servers they are not using their network devices they're not using their uh, computers and all at this uh, period of the time the network or i can say that it is scaling down and they just want only the servers and the storage uh, they don't need any more network devices to be working so now what is that it is been scaled down and they are only going to see that how many people have been working and how much the storage is being needed because now the storage is being needed more because many people will be uploading their work to the storage devices so now they have to increase their storage space now they are scaling up so at this particular period of the time they can't go and buy the new storage devices for that purpose if they take the help of the cloud they provide you the storage you can store it and later you can retrieve to your storage application uh, devices and the next one is high availability uh, the 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 biggest benefit of the cloud computing i can i can say is that it is providing you the high availability of the data uh, because it is replicating the data at the multiple locations and at that same time it is a fault tolerant and these are techniques irrespective of where the data is being stored where the data centers are being located but still yet it provides you the data at the requested period of the time right so these are all the benefits of the cloud where you people are getting the data for example is your gmail you can browse it even in your mobile you are able to store the pictures you are able to retrieve the pictures from one devices to the another devices you can uh, get the e G uh, emails there is no need for that you have to uh, log in with a particular system you can open the emails you can download you are having the google forms you have you are using the google docs you are using the google presentations where you pr prepare the presentations online and you are uh, presenting it at any particular period of the time irrespective of uh, installing the uh, ms office to prepare the presentation so to install again we need a uh, operating system we need the software for that one so that is been cut down and only the presentation that is only just the google presentation is been used it is been providing you the platform with the help of the cloud so these are how the cloud is this is how the cloud is providing us the benefits now in the next uh, class we shall come across what are the service models hope uh, you have understood the concept thank you